do not eat the fish. That's the advisory for some area lakes and rivers in the state's annual Eat Safe Fish Guide this year. 13 on your side's Micah Cho looks at why the number of fish has tripled in the last two years. If you're looking for a place to fish in Michigan, you have a lot of options. Oh, they're like plasticky. Um, I've been getting some bites out of it. I, I just lost uh, three of them right now under yeah. the rocks or somewhere there in there. But depending on where you are, you might want to check to see if the fish you're catching are safe to eat. If catch and keep is your thing. I got an email from uh, from the Michigan um, email service from the DNR. And uh, I was told that, well, it, it's, I read that I could go to the DNR website and, and read all about it. Adam Carrillo, who we saw fishing on the banks of the Grand River, is talking about the Eat Safe Fish Guides that are published by the state's Department of Health and Human Services. It details fish in specific lakes, rivers, and streams that are either safe or unsafe to eat in 600 bodies of water across Michigan due to PFOS, man-made chemicals that have made their way into the water. In 2023, 33 waterways had at least one species of fish considered unsafe to eat. In this year's guide, that number has nearly tripled now 98, at least one fish species flagged as unsafe to eat. There are 65 new water bodies this year that have a PFOS-driven do not eat advisory. Marcus Wasilevich, who studies toxicology for MDHHS, says the jump is due to more research rather than more fish becoming toxic. To 98, and the reason that we see that partially is due to the increased PFOS toxicity that we are using in these new updated guides and new water bodies that have been tested since the last guides have come out. For example, at Banshee's Park Pond in Wyoming, do not eat advisories cover every species of fish in the water, including crappie, bluegill, and sunfish. However, in the Grand River, where Carrillo was fishing, only two species, carp and rock bass, are under the Do Not Eat advisory. Other fish, according to Wasilevich, may have limitations on them, like only eat one or two eight ounce servings a month. That's why he says it's important to check out the safe fish advisories before serving up any fillets. So Micah, any other chemicals that had the DNR concerned? Yeah, Julia, mercury is listed as a concern several times in the guides. Mercury gets into waterways from coal burning power plants, which later gets into the fish. And we will have a link to the Eat Safe Fish Guides link to this story on our website, 1390side.com. Thank you, Micah.